What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use the new Discord community feature on your own Discord server. Before we get started, what exactly do you get by enabling this feature? Well, the simplest way that I can show you is probably the most noticeable. If I simply open up Discord in my browser and try to join a server, I'll go ahead and join one with it enabled. I'll simply take an invite link, join the server, and once we've joined the server, you'll see something like this, a simple welcome panel and we get a bunch of other features here. Simply clicking on these will take you across to the channels that you're interested in. Now to give you a good example of what exactly it looks like, let's go ahead and join a popular server, such as the Discord for Python. Over here, you can see some information, a short description of the server, the server's title, image, as well as a bunch of channels and descriptions over here to help you get started. You can either click on these to go to the channel, or you can simply just say you'll rather look around for now. Besides this, we do get a couple of other cool features, but we'll be going through them in just a moment. This is my community Discord that I use mostly for my programming projects and things alike. Once you're on your Discord server, simply head across to the top left and then go to server settings. Then we'll head into the enable community tab and we have a bunch of info on the community section. If you don't understand exactly what this means, well, linked in the description below is the support page for Discord community. This is where we'll find all the info on what exactly this does. The first section are requirements for enabling the community. As long as your server works well with these requirements, you're able to enable it. Then we have a short description of the tools that we get. We get a welcome screen, which is what we saw before, announcement channels, which have those little megaphone icons next to them that you can follow, and announcements sent to that channel will be sent directly to your own servers. Heading across to a Discord with an announcements channel, like the Team Fortress 2 Classic Discord, you can see the little megaphone icon, and we have the ability to follow the announcements channel, and we'll get these messages sent here in our own Discord server in a channel of our choice simply by clicking the follow button, choosing a server, and then choosing a channel for it. Pretty cool. Then a moderator only channel is created on your Discord where you receive Discord official updates. That looks something like this. This channel has been set up to receive official Discord announcements for admins and moderators of community servers. We'll let you know about important updates such as moderation features or changes to your server's eligibility for server discovery here. Then we have server insights, which basically provides some information about the server, such as how your community is doing, how many people are talking, and retention of the users in your Discord server. For more info on that, they've got it linked on this nice page over here explaining exactly what it does and what it looks like. It'll look something like this, but of course, when you set it up in your own server, it'll probably be quite empty unless you're running a pretty massive server already. Then we have the discovery section. If we choose to enable discovery, it'll be available on Discord's server directory. At launch, this will be limited to servers with more than 10,000 members and partnered or verified servers. This discovery section will come with its own rules, but you can find it under Discover Home. We can get there simply by clicking the Explore Public Servers button, and we'll have a list of servers under different categories. Then we should also be able to search for them. Pretty useful and pretty simple. I, for one, didn't know much about this feature up until now, as I've never clicked this button over here, but it is rather useful. As for the features, that's about it. Then we get to enabling it, but instead of following this guide, I'll go ahead and show it to you now. So simply heading across to my Discord server, I'll click in the top left, then Server Settings. Then we'll head to the Enable Community section and then simply click Get Started. Once we're here, you'll need to make sure that your email is verified. And since we've done this already, it's automatically checked. Then Explicit Media Content Filter. Discord will automatically scan and delete media sent in the server that contain explicit content, which doesn't include NSFW channels. You should have this on, as people shouldn't be able to send provocative pictures to channels that aren't NSFW. Anyway, with both of these checked, we can simply click Next. Then we'll need a Rules or Guidelines channel. If your server doesn't already have one of these, you'll need to either have it selected as Create One For Me, or simply select one that you already have. I have the Welcome channel for this. Then we have Community Updates. This is the channel where Discord will send relevant updates for the community admins and moderators. As some info might be sensitive, we recommend selecting your private staff channel. If you don't already have one, simply make sure Create One For Me is selected. Then we'll click Next. The final step is enabling these two over here. Hovering over the little eye will give you some more information on why exactly this should be done. Then follow the rules. By setting your server as a community server, you agree that your server complies with the community guidelines linked here, and that Discord may check the contents of your server to make sure it's safe. Mine is of course safe. I'll click Finish Setup after agreeing to it, and we'll see a bunch of tabs under the community section. In here, we can customize these channels that we picked earlier, choose a primary server language, and we can of course disable the community if you'd like to at some point in the future. 
From here, we can set up a welcome screen, apply for discovery, and check server insights. Let's go ahead and create a welcome screen. I'll simply click on that option or choose it on the left-hand side over here, and then click Set Up Welcome Screen. Let's go ahead and pick a channel. I'll choose Welcome. Then we can choose an emoji that'll appear to the left of the channel's text. These have to be the default Discord emojis and can't be custom ones from your server or other servers. I'll simply set it to Wave. Then I'll say, Hello, Save. Then I'll add another channel and I'll use, say, my Account Switches Announcements channel. I'll go ahead and add an emoji. And then I'll say, Add the general chat just for, say, casual discussions. Then I'll click Save. Now that we've got some of this done, we can set a description. After setting a description, we can simply click Enable, and we can use the Preview button to see what it would look like. And now we've finished setting up this feature. I'll simply click Anywhere to close it, and we're done here. Heading back to the Overview tab, we can apply for Discovery or Check Server Insights. Let's go ahead and check Server Insights. Clicking on that, we see this over here. Looks like your server isn't quite ready to see full insights. You'll only have access to announcement channels and welcome screen analytics. We can simply click this button over here and it'll open up in our browser. Then we'll be able to see metrics and information on our server. After it grows to 500 or more members, you'll see these tabs over here. I would assume that this partner program tab over here helps you apply for partnership when your Discord reaches a relatively big size. And of course, because I've recently enabled this, this is all empty. Heading across to the partner program tab, we see some info on applying for partnership. As you can see, it's currently paused until November as they're getting too many applications. Scrolling down, we see some requirements on what exactly is necessary to apply for partnership. Then we have the enable discovery section over here, as long as we reach the requirements listed below. Unfortunately, you'll need 10,000 members to appear on the public discovery list, and it'll need to be quite active as well. But besides that, that is the complete community setup and guide for your server. Then let's go ahead and make a channel of ours an announcements channel. I'll make this my Techno Steam account switcher an announcements channel. Simply clicking the settings icon next to the channel itself, we have a new button over here to change it to an announcement channel. By doing this, we can hit save and our channel will have this enabled. Post messages that reach servers outside your own, users can opt into following this channel, so select posts you publish from here will appear directly in their own servers. If we close down of this, you can see that we now have a little megaphone next to it, so any announcements sent to here will be sent to whoever decides to follow this channel. Of course, we can do that for another announcement channel if you'd like, such as this one here, which is just general announcements for the server. Of course, I haven't used this since 2018. And finally, we have the moderator only channel up here that was created for us on our Discord server. As you can see, only users with the server administrator permission can see this channel. I'll go ahead and move it down to say the private section over here. And that's about it. From here, there's not much else to do. That's about all that this feature offers for a Discord server of my size. Of course, when I reach 500 members or 10,000 members, I'll probably make another video explaining exactly what those other sections do. Thank you all for watching. My name has been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.